has it been posted since he's been incarcerated? I have, I'm in a murder trial. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I, I had a chance. So to he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. And are you aware that he has a trial pending in Las Vegas Municipal Court? He has a case pending in Good Springs Justice Court where he continues to manufacture situations where he'll get arrested. Your Honor, I recognize that's what he was sort of doing for a living, and this is, um, I, he's now being incarcerated. I, and so, what he's saying in the couple of weeks since he's been incarcerated, when he calls from the jail and publishes them on his website, is not what he's about to say to me. Okay? So, he's going to apologize to me now, but that's not what he's doing publicly, okay? Yes, Your Honor. I, I, I hear that. I, I won't have him speak at this time. But I would still ask you to consider that there may be legitimate issues. I think there are for Judge Levitt to consider. And I think these are sort of issues of first impression. That was the other thing I saw, is that in the state of Nevada, I can't find any case law that specifically talks about this filming of police officers. I really, what I would say to the court is I recognize that it's obnoxious behavior. That's what it appears to be. Whether it's protected is another thing that I think higher courts need to look at. But I can see if the court has already made up the court's mind. Well, I, I want to be clear. I did not have a problem with him filming, and I said that when I sentenced him. That was not the issue. It was the safety issues that he created with his behavior. And I also did not sentence him because of his ridiculous behavior in court. Um, that wasn't why I sentenced him to jail. I sentenced him because I found him guilty beyond reasonable doubt, and I thought that was the appropriate sentence. I could have given him, given him 180 days on each count, ran it consecutive for a year in jail, but I didn't. Um, and his behavior was un in unacceptable in court, but that's not what I sentenced him for. I did not sentence him for his behavior in court. I sentenced him for his behavior for the two charges that he faced. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I hope you liked that beginning clip because that was pretty funny to me. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the game today because, you know, most of the people is going to get their videos out. They got their videos out today. And I wanted to be on here to kind of give my two cents because I know you guys like whenever I do frauded in comment content. And this is one of them. But before we get before we get started. Uh, if you have anything you want to say to me in private, if you have something to complain about, there's a couple different ways you can reach out to me. Um, email, which is in my About section. Uh, you can reach out to me on X, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or the comment section. Um, you know, I, I try my best to answer as much as I can, especially lately. I've been trying to be more active with my followers, and I really enjoy you guys uh, playing along. Um, <clears throat> but I will not tolerate what happened last time, and you guys know what happened last time when somebody decided to justifiably uh, destroy me and my wife's lives by saying some really stupid things and texting people's personal phone numbers, uh, which is never okay. It's never okay. But if you have a problem with what I'm saying, and I'm going to try to be as clean as possible because I know if I say something stupid, you guys will let me know. And I want to be perfectly honest with you guys. I am trying to change the way I look at things. I'm trying to change the way I approach humor. Uh, and that's to be not incredibly offensive because I know uh, in this day and age, if you say something completely offensive, you will get canceled or worse. There's a lot of things that could happen especially in the doxing sphere where people uh, either lose their lives, which that's possible. People have lost their lives due to doxing uh, or they commit suicide. And that's a possibility too. Uh, there's a point where this stuff goes too far, but you have every right of calling me a bigot, um, you know, whatever you want to call me, a MAGA supporter or racist or whatever. You can call me whatever you want. I know the, most of the people here that's watching me knows that's not the case because uh, they've been around for a long time. Um, and whenever I say something homophobic, I don't use it to anybody else. I use it against Chile because I know it pisses him off uh, and always has. And that's kind of where I've been going with it because, you know, he's got a history of being a phobe. So I use that against him. But 
still it's no justification for me to say things like that. And, you know, I'm going to do my best to not say it. So I'm done bitching. I said too much. Um, so anyways, today, uh, Chile had a case. Chile had a case where he was trying to appeal the court's decision to of him getting the 180-day sentence. Um, had a new lawyer, which was paid for by his followers. I don't know how much this lawyer was. I heard anywhere between ten thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars for this guy, um, which really fucking blows my mind. It really blows my mind. Um, I know. I, I know. Whenever I posted something the other the other day about uh, me, you know, losing money for my job, and I had some people was like, "Oh, you're grifting and all this stuff." I haven't done that. And seeing people actually donate to this guy. Um, for being a criminal really blows my mind. Really blows my mind. It makes me want to do my own GoFundMe. Like, and like, hey, pay for my uh, video game addiction. Uh, pay for me to buy a new house. Pay for me to get a new car. Pay for me to get everything. Uh, pay for my bad behavior. Let me punch a child in the face and go to jail and pay for me to get out. Obviously, I don't want to punch a child in the face because I do love kids, despite what some people might think. Um, <laughs> that kind of goes back to like a couple of years ago. But I'm going to try to stay on topic because I'm, I've got ADHD and I just can't help it. Um, but Chili had his case today. It was pretty, pretty interesting. I watched uh, Frauded or Troll, uh, The Plot Hole, and there was a few more um, that posted it today. And then you kind of watched, I had seen Chad Gu. Uh, Flat Derp, and that was a few more. And if I haven't said your name, I do apologize. Uh, just know that I love you. Um, so Chile had his court case today. Had his new lawyer. Um, they tried to argue that the uh, sentencing was too harsh for one person. And Chile is definitely sorry. He's a good boy now. He he's he's definitely sorry. Definitely sorry. Uh, not 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 you know angry at all, not not being a bitch at all. Um, we watched him come in. He had this sad look on his face. Looked like uh, he killed Charlie, which, God, I hope Charlie's okay. Um, yeah, poor Charlie. Uh, but he had this sad look. He was crying. He was literally crying. Um, definitely alpha male uh, behavior, um, if you catch my drift. Um, it was pretty pitiful. It was pretty pitiful due to the fact that you know, the judge had evidence to show that Chile was not sorry for his actions. And the pieces of evidence that they have was the fact that whoever's running Chile's channel now, a total fucking moron, by the way, um, was streaming Chile's phone calls from the jail where Chile was talking about the judge. Now, he did get cut off, and apparently maybe he went to... Uh, the whole, I don't know how true that is, solitary confinement, uh, but somehow he still had his phone so where he could talk to people, spread his message of hates and uh, whatever. Um, you, you don't do that, right? You don't get put in jail. Get on a live stream on your phone call from jail and start talking shit about the judge. Especially if they can use that for evidence. It's not a smart move. And if, you know, if you're following this guy and you support this guy and you've seen that happening, you should definitely be questioning yourself at this point. You're like, you know, this guy is feeding me a lot of bullshit and uh, that just kind of takes the cake. Uh, a, a constitutional law scholar or a 30 year MMA fighter uh, would know not to do something like that. You would think, right? You would think, but these people still give him money and support him, saying the Chili's. Uh, unjustifiably in jail, and I still know some people is going to disagree with me. Um, but I, you know, I, I take no pleasure in somebody else's pain. But this guy, I'm willing to bend the rules a little bit. Um, I've watched his videos for a long time, just watching all the bad stuff he's done, um, and it baffles me that he's getting support and he's getting money from this, even after the fact. And I've said this a thousand times, and I post this all the time. Some person that wishes bones to cancer on children, some person that's a racist towards black people, a sexist towards women, uh, or whatever, uh, which we've seen that in these videos where he calls the uh, the female officers pigtails and calls them weak and pathetic, 
or when he talks down to a black man uh, s talking about slavery and how he's the white savior. He's done this on multiple occasions. Uh, and it also got to the point where he got on stream saying that he has stage five cancer. And that took really, I took great offense to that, considering the fact that my dad had stage four cancer and he died. I took really big offense to that. And I, you know, still to this day, you know, I have that clip. I posted it on TikTok. I posted it on here where he threatened the cop by saying if he has his stage five cancer and they're trying to see if he has it, he's going to meet up with him. That's just fucking dumb. And these people support it blindly. It's really ridiculous. And, you know, if, if you're following him and you're watching this, if you're watching this case as his lawyer desperately tries to defend his actions, um, you should be questioning yourself, honestly. You should really be questioning yourself. You're, you're taking advice from this guy, this, this dude, this guy. It feels like consequences are above him. Like he doesn't have to face consequences. And I swear to you that if you try to pull the same shit he does, there's a chance you're going to get put in jail. You could get hurt. You can get killed. What do you think Chili's doing with this money? Now, I know the idiot that hopped on his stream and said that Chili did a great job for all the people, all the frauditing people, all the criminals that's, you know, saying he's fundraising for them, uh, which is funny because right now he has three or four fundraisers on GoFundMe. And hard to tell, there might be other places that there's fundraisers right now that he's making money. He's actually profiting from this. So when he gets out, he's not going to learn a lesson. He's going to have a nice nest egg to come back to. So the hop on's like, yeah, I got some money. Going to get my Gucci purse and my... my my dress, my Gucci dress. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's fucking crazy. I'm going to tell you guys this right now, by the way, if you can. The only way this is going to stop the the grifting, the, the, the making money from this is if you go to GoFundMe, find his GoFundMes and mass report this. Go to GoFundMe, contact GoFundMe and tell them, hey, this motherfucker is breaking the law. And YouTube's allowing it, too. I've actually tried to talk to YouTube about this, and they pushed me away from it. They said there's nothing they can do, um, even though there's evidence to show that he's done these things. Uh, from the doxing, the threats, and all this other stuff. I mean, you, know, you have to go check out Gunner TV. He actually had a video about it where Chili tried to get all of his information, like his mom's phone number, his mom's address, his dad, his... Now, his personal address, his phone number, and that was right on stream. And it's no different than the person that did the same thing to me, even though they said they don't really like Chili, but they still did it to me, and it's an easy thing to happen. I'm really pissed off about that, by the way. Um, so before you start calling me a bigot, um, please send me an email about that, because I would love to have a chat with you, because I would like to sit down and talk to you about this stuff, um, because it does mean something to me, um, you know. But anyways, anyways, if you guys can, go on to GoFundMe, uh, find these um, charities, <laughs> these charities hosted by Delete Laws or Jose de Castro, um, mass report these things. It's the only way this is going to stop. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to stop because, you know, it's like the Hydra. You take one down, two more pops up in its place, but it's a start. Um, I've seen on one, he made like almost $20,000 uh, so far. And this is from people that are wasting their money. Um, and they should see seen that today. The, the, today should have been the day. Today should have been the day. Whenever they saw him crying. Um, after the big talk he is. The, how he talks himself up. How he says he's going to fight a lot of men. and uh, All this other stuff. And he's going to bend them over and get on top of them. Uh, you know where I'm going with this because he said it to me. He said it to a lot of people, and I have video proof about that. But if, if you, you're one of his followers and you're seeing this, and you're like, maybe we're the bad guys. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the meme in here. Maybe I'm gonna put the meme right here. Are we the baddies?
But you see what I mean? You see what I mean? That's that's they're the bad guys. <laughs> Ultimately, the bad guys. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just sad and true. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely keep a, a chant, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Um, going through some stuff right now, um, and you know I'll keep you guys updated. Um, don't fall for it. don't fall for it if you're watching this and you hate me and you think I'm wrong. Uh, just really think about it. Really think about it. What you're supporting, because um, I, I believe that you probably have good intentions in your heart. I really do. I really think you are looking for somebody to fight for your rights, but this isn't it. You know, the frightening stuff is not fighting for your rights. If you're saying that somebody going to the post office or calling a, a cop a pig is going to be fighting your rights, definitely wrong. Definitely wrong. There's actually true patriots right now, cross seas right now, that are dying, that uh, are trying to protect your rights so you can see this bullshit. Maybe you should concentrate on them. That's just me. It's just, uh, those are the real heroes, not the tyrants. Anyways, guys, love you very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.